rapidly growing boutique fitness studio franchise. It's a new exercise spot opening to the public this month. It's called Cycle Bar. The classes take place in a state-of-the-art cycle theater. Kelly recommended that I try this exercise class called AKT. AKT. Okay, AKT. I did it last night. I have brought you a picture of what I look like afterwards. Oh my gosh. That. That was the result of an hour of AKT. Athletes are opening up business ventures left and right. It's a, an opportunity to, for me to be able to show the kids what I went through and things that I did when I was younger. I was in their shoes at one time, so it's, uh, and I didn't have anything like this. I promise you that. You could have a 65-year-old woman and an 8-year-old little boy kind of in here going at it. What I really wanted to do was provide the general community everyday people the same experience I had as a Division I athlete, which is unbelievable coaching, someone to ask about nutrition, therapists in their everyday community and everyday lives. It boasts being the dirtiest, the muddiest, and one of the most hardcore endurance events on the market today. Tough Mudder's Mud Run has grown drastically since it first launched in 2010. We've now grown to 10 different countries, Three million people have done the event worldwide. We have several different event formats. We have the 5K, the half, the full. The full is 10 to 12 miles. And then we go right up to World's Toughest, which is a 24-hour event. We've also grown with our partners. We have sponsors around the world. And we now have three TV shows as well. But as race participation growth slows, the company's co-founder and CEO, Will Dean, is looking to add a new revenue stream by bringing their obstacle course to a gym near you. You see in markets like New York and LA, a lot of studio concepts, sort of boutique, high-end, 30 buck classes propping up. But that's not the market we're trying to enter at all. What we're trying to do is go after the market of mudders, most of whom don't live in markets like New York and LA. In fact, what we're really focused is middle America. And we're trying to build a boot camp, a studio space that works at half that, at 10 to 15 bucks a class. And we're trying to create all around functional fitness for millions of people. Are you tired for that? Dean says the idea to franchise Tough Mudder Boot Camp across the country is not only going to grow his brand, but create big business for small entrepreneurs around the world. We've had over 1,500 applications already for people that want to open a franchise, but our long-term ambition is to have several thousand of these just in the United States. And then when you remember that over half of all the mothers doing our events are outside of the U.S. now, we believe we could be 10,000 franchises worldwide in 10 years' time. The end goal, adds Dean, is to build a global tribe of tough and fit mothers. Too many people that sign up for a tough mother and then don't make it to the start line are doing so because they're trying to train on their own, they're training in a boring big box gym. If you want to succeed in your training regime, the best thing you can do is train as part of a group. There we go. You are seven times more likely to achieve your fitness goals if you train as part of a group.